All right, everybody, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. This is going to be all kinds of fun because we are about to finish off the Animals album from Pink Floyd. As you know, we've done the, the first Pigs on the Wing and Dogs. We have done Pigs, three different ones. I had to think there for a second. And now we are going to be doing Sheep and then Pigs on the Wing 2. So I'm not the... doing no Sheep. Duly noted. <clears throat> that would be very bad for you. But. Fuck you. <laughs> the album Animals is, of course, based off of George or Orwell's Animal Farm, which takes common animals and uses them as metaphors for the strata of society. So pigs would be the gluttons, the businessmen, the politicians, the preachers. Dogs are more your, your cutthroat. You know, do anything to get what they want, sort of stab you in the back, treacherous, predatory types. Sheep is probably the easiest of the metaphors to grasp because it's just people that are dumb and easily led. So, from what I've heard, I'm sorry? You have time to farm suit Big farm. Yeah, that's, I, if, if I... If I started listing all the groups that uh, groups of people that Roger Waters hates, this would be like a uh, four-hour reaction. Agreed. Yeah. So, but yeah, this uh, this has been a great album so far. It's kind of flown under the radar, very much like a pig on the wing, if you will. I, everyone knows Dark Side of the Moon. Everyone know, knows The Wall. This one, it, it's not quite as well known. Uh, there's no like radio radio friendly singles on it. And maybe some people can grasp the concept, but musically, this is a fantastic album. So we've really dug the songs that we've uh, reacted to so far. So um, this is another ten-minute opus. So very much looking forward to seeing what Floyd's got got still chambered. I've heard this one is a bit uh, unique lyrically, and whenever you have Roger Waters writing lyrics and the word "unique" gets thrown out there, you know you're in for quite a ride. Get a uh, a read. It is a fascinating story of the band's uh, the formation and legacy. Hey, what's up? What's up? All right, we're back. Oh, Jill, are you ready to do this? I'm, my coffee's ready. I just got to get it. Let's, um, All good. Ready for it. Let's do it. Oh, oh shit. It's already weird as hell. All right, let's do it again. Yeah. I just heard them damn sheep. Maybe think of uh, Devil's Rejects. You boy ain't playing on that <laughs> chickens, are you? <laughs> oh, sorry.
my freaking God. He said, ah, son of a bitch, he said, ah, that this was weak instrumentally, weakest song of the album, instrumentally, but strongest lyrically. Well, I just had a bass chasm over there. <laughs> Listen to that. That bass was, who the hell played this? Killer. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, that, that was Mike Inez, like, uh, House of Chains. That was, that was such a deep tone. Who, who plays bass? That's Roger, actually. That's right. We were just told that. Yeah. Um, so if you can look up the lyrics, I have no problem going back. I've got the lyrics right here. Let me, you want can, me to send them to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. Gotcha. What the hell to do with my butter? Oh shit. I must have lived an idea. Hold on. Damn bass got me going. That lyric should be in your messenger now. All right. Man, that was so good. His his singing was wasn't going nowhere. I mean, it was, you know what I mean? It was the same. Yeah, it was nice, consistent, even. Yeah. Nothing crazy yet. All right. Hopelessly passing your time in the grassland away. Only, dim, only dimly aware of a certain unease in the air. You better watch out. There may be dogs about. I've looked over Jordan and I've seen. There are not what they seem to be. Things are not what they seem to be. Why do you get. So sorry. God damn it. What do you get for pretending the danger is not real? Meek and obedient, you follow the leader. Down well trodden corridors into the valley of steel. What a surprise. The look of terminal shock in your eyes. Now things are really what they seem. No, this is not a bad dream. The Lord is my shepherd. I will not want. I shall not want. He makes me down to lie through pastures green. He leadeth me to silent waters by with bright knives. He releases my soul. He maketh me hang on, hooks in high places. He converteth me to lamb cult, cutlets. For lo, he hath great power and great hunger. When cometh the day, we lowly ones, through quiet reflection and great dedication. Master of art of karate, lo, we shall rise up. And then we'll make the buggers eye water. Bleeding and babbling, we fell on his neck with a scream. Wave upon wave of demented Avengers. March cheerfully out of the obscurity into the dream. Have you heard the news? The dogs are dead. You better stay home and do as you're told. Get out of the road if you want to grow old. Be fucking in, I guess. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with Roger? Acid, brother. <laughs> so, I mean, it took Sid. It took Roger, but it left him. <laughs> I, I'm not it, sure. Uh, I'm, see, I'm almost... I'm, again, again, I'm positive Roger claims like he tried acid once and got stuck in the middle of a road. Oh, man, Roger. And has done it since. 
Have you ever heard him say anything that was the truth? <laughs> I love Roger now. Don't get me wrong. But we all know he's insane. It, it may be possible he's engaging in a bit of uh, non-truthful speaking there. The Joe um, Rogan show, he admits he's, he's absolutely lots. He said it wasn't much, but then it was like, this ain't, it's like six times a week, but that's not the right exact number. But I beat a lot of acid, and what he said is not a little bit. So, And this is proof of, you know, the modern life encroaching upon us. But I, when I say, uh, see, lo, we shall rise up, I keep thinking it's LOL will rise up. Like, yeah, probably not in 1974 whenever this was released. But yeah, I, like there's some very dark images here. With bright knives, he release, releaseth my soul. He maketh me hang on hooks in high places. He converteth seems, me to lamb cutlets. It seems like, like the Lord's Prayer in Pig Latin. <laughs> <laughs> and though we shall rise up, and then we'll make the buggers' eyes water. Sound like Maynard lyrics. They're, yeah. <laughs> they really do. Um, yeah, the, the, have you heard the news? The dogs are dead. You better stay home <laughs> and do as you're told. Get out of the road if you want to grow old. Yeah. I, I picture that deaf, dumb, and blind born to follow. I think yeah. that's probably where Maynard got the inspiration was this album. Bleeding and babbling, we fell on his neck with a scream, wave upon wave of demented Avengers. Yeah, it's a, it's a very sloppy revolution, apparently. Marched cheerfully out of obscurity into the dream. That was a swizz roll, coffee, and some homemade butter. And I'm churning. Sounds tasty. Sounds tasty. It feels tasty. All right, let's run this back. Oh, yeah, I'm at the wheel. Yep. Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah. Carrie, don't say that no more. She says, Welcome to the jungle. Damn, <laughs> Is that the bass? No, it's a keyboard. I'm done. Keyboard, yeah. <coughs> There's the bass. Shut up, goats. Damn. Babbling ass sheep. He says that, don't he, babble? Yeah. I like it fading in better than fading out. Nasty tone. Very slow fade, too.
I think this might be the best vocal line I've ever heard Roger give. Yeah. I, I'm really enjoying his vocals here. Um, the way he's, he's his tone is beautiful. Gilmore like. Yeah. Not quite as pretty a voice, but but yeah, still. very clean. And the way he, this is stanza, I mean, it's not stanza like a regular song, but still fairly you no know, um structured for a Pink Floyd song. But he's not singing it like it stands it. He is, but he's holding notes way longer than it looks like he should be. Uh, that yes. hopelessly passing your time in the grassland away. Uh, it's got to be like sheep in the field. Yes. Like the um, ring those bells. Um, the uh, shepherd is asleep where the willows weep and the mountains are filled with little off sheep. Yes. Lane Staley, heart. Um, and I looked over Jordan. And I have seen that things are not what they seem. The River Jordan is the most holy river in the world. And it's dried up now. Ironically, it wasn't then. Uh, we're still here. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, maybe the water sandwich over here. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, I just, that just. How the David, you're wrong this time, brother. <laughs> this is not the way you can strike. No. I mean, I, that breakdown right there just that shit was nasty. Maybe he was like doing this on purpose. Ah, man, this is like I did you with Lake of Palmer. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> I remember that. I'm sure you do. Yeah, your very first reaction. Oh, he's growing up. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah, let's do oh, whatever. He's fucking sheep again. <laughs> Who plays the keyboard? Richard Wright. And that bass is sick. Got hints of young lust in there.
gates opening. David, tell me what you say there. Stove. 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 I don't know why, but that's what he's saying. Stove. Stove. Okay. Stove. Yeah. Ooh. Am I crazy or is this great? Best one album. I, it's <laughs> hands down, man. The others are great. This freaking song is amazing. Um, <laughs> and it's it would for me. It's hard to rank one above the others. They they've all got their own sort of unique flavor style. Um, okay, this one is jamming yeah, this, more. This this is this is the hardest is I've ever this heard Floyd. Yes, this is metal. This is this yeah. is metal Floyd. This is the rare Pink Floyd song you can take out jogging. Um, I know yes. you hate the whispering. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> so that was a uh, that was cool. I I had the lyrics in front of me so I could make it out. It it felt uh, it had a creepy feeling to it. Um, I was gonna say it feels like like Gilmore hasn't had like a big solo moment yet, but his fills and whatnot it feels like there's one guitar in each on each side like there's one to the right and there's one to the left 
and sometimes they're playing the same thing, sometimes they're playing completely different things, and sometimes they're playing similar things that are just slightly off. So Gilmore's playing the bass and the guitar? No, just like just there's little guitar things he's doing. Like he's not playing the bass, it's Roger on the bass. But I'm just saying Gilmore hasn't had a big solo moment, but like when the when other things have been going, he's either been doing like chords or he'll do like little fills and they're they're panned to each side and it feels like like I said, sometimes they line up, but sometimes they're doing just slightly different things. I mean for what is this, nineteen seventy four? Is that when we said it came out? Well yeah. Well may I say something? I, I say I like to point out that I like to point out first that I want you to do this, but the progressiveness, the whisper, the bass line being just as prominent as the guitar, the long crescendo type. This is tool like. I know tool oh, yeah. came after, but this is uh-huh. the religious references. Yeah, this is maybe that's why I like it so good. I don't know. I don't like fully you know, bliss. Um, yeah, I'm definitely. I'm sure yeah, I've listened one, to this album a few times. Oh um, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, Rich, Richard Wright's synths, like all over this album, they've been amazing. But it's, I, I like the spacey sounds that he uses, like how he uses you know interesting tones to do his, like his little solo bits. Like the like, I think he's got one of those pitch bendy wheels to get those sort of like upward slides that you get that give you that spacey feeling. Yeah, yeah so he even was, make, well, you just kind of pointed out that all the expectations equal in this. Uh, again, that's yeah. like yeah, so every, I, I, every, I, I, every everyone has its own when, moment. Yeah, even when they're rocking out, Pink Floyd is still uh, super atmospheric. Um, as you mentioned before, uh, it, it, one cool thing about, well, among the cool things about hearing this album has been hearing Roger basically at like his vocal peak. You know, we mentioned how clean his lines are, how uh, his sustain is really good. Like, he's holding out some of these notes a really long time. And then when he's doing the more, I guess, rhythmically busy bits, you better watch out. There better be dogs about and stuff like that. It gets all crisp. It's, it's in time. It's, it's, you know, he's, uh, accenting different parts of the rhythm. It's, yeah, I mean, once upon and, a time, Roger was a really good singer. <laughs> well, I mean, he still is, but I mean, it, this is different. I've noticed he isn't really gaining or losing volume, whether he's whispering, whether he's belting, or whether he's... The volume is staying about the same. Yeah, he hasn't... He's uh, not getting louder, or like, even the whispers is on the same tone level, octave, whatever. Wow, man. Damn. Yeah, I don't, I don't, of course we're going to listen to the rest. I don't got to hear the rest. So this is my this is my favorite on the album. Back up a little bit. To the beginning. No, not to the beginning. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, it's like haunted house shit. Freddy.
Gonna play it out slow. I can play it in. Oh. God almighty, man. There's the birds. And the cows. Hell, man. Yeah. No fucking farm. Man, I got something to listen to now. I'm going to far say it's my favorite album, but I think it's the most unique Pink Floyd album. I would definitely agree with you 100% on that. Um... <laughs> Sorry for the Skinner. <laughs> More great seventies were out there, but uh, that, so the between animals was free as a bird. Between like the bass line and some of the uh, guitar mm-hmm. riffing that Gilmore did, and sort of the rhythmic nature of some of his uh, work, and it's even sort of like the sass, for lack of a better term, in Rogers' vocals. This felt kind of funky sometimes. Yeah, you damn right. Yeah. I mean, Boy, bring I the, funk. the hell wrong with this damn thing, man? Shit. <laughs> What's Sorry. wrong? I can't do this damn. They see. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I mean, I I don't know what to say, man. I was really expecting this not to be as good, and we still got pigs five really because we're three pigs in the middle. Um, I felt okay when we started this. Mm-hmm. I had a worse night than I had the other two reactions. I was not in nearly as good a mood, and I had just listened to Tool before this came on, so it wasn't like the music is what cheered me up. That was fucking good, man. Yes, it was. It wasn't like the bad time is what made that. That was just. Did you hear all those breakdowns? <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, oh my God. Uh, yeah. So, let me. What do you say? Animals I will say good. that. Yeah, it's. I mean, again, Floyd at their peak was amazing. Uh, <laughs> again, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say, hey, Floyd, man, it's, they suck. Floyd's awesome. They, uh, but again, like you think of Floyd, you think of Dark Side of the Moon, you think of The Wall, even something like Wish You Were Here. And again, I guess those had the shorter songs you could play on the radio, sort of introduce well, to people. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. Too. But uh, yeah, so these are all, you know, long, sprawling epics that are, you know, immersed in some heavy conceptual themes. But God, this album is awesome musically. It's every bit on par with the albums that we mentioned. Yeah, because I I won't say everything. I don't like echoes. I don't think it's that good. Uh It's cool where they're at. It's cool atmosphere. Yeah. It's not that good. Not my opinion. So it's not like I'm, you know, licking their damn asshole. I'm just. Right. That was a terrible analogy, but. uh, (laughs) I was thinking about a cow, man. I was thinking about cows licking each other's ass. Uh, I was trying to, you know, embrace the damn farm. (laughs) <laughs> but no, it's not like we're people that just will enjoy anything that Floyd puts out. Like you said, sometimes they, they, they do have the occasional misfire, but I definitely think this album deserves to be mentioned, you know, alongside the, you know, Wish You Were Here, Dark Side of the Moon, The Wall, that sort of thing. Because it's, it's musically, it's, it's as well constructed and as, you know, lyrically insightful and biting as anything you're going to hear. Well, this album does not have a mainstream tap your foot, yeah, catchy melody song. That's the difference. Yeah. But it for a music lover like us, we don't give a shit about that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to have that. I mean, I appreciate the fact that it doesn't have that actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I appreciate the fact that now I'm allowed to go back and listen to it because I don't remember a damn bit of it really. I mean, I do, but you know what I mean. I, like was so 
and captivating that I lost myself in the moment each time. Yeah, this is a this is an album that would be fascinating to listen to all the way through. Yeah, I'm saying that about two albums. It's hard, man. It's hard. It's <laughs> all damn time, you know. This ain't too bad. I think this is like 48 minutes, but. And I, and, right, and, oh. So I'm trying to. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play Pigs on the Wing Part 2. We can close this up and then have some. Oh, uh, well, let me pull. We got Skinner up here. Hold on. I got us all shaped up different. I forgot it was not a song, man. Tim going crazy. Well, it's only like I'm in at 30, so. My right, man. Go ahead. Ooh. What's up, girl? <laughs> you know that I care. Ooh. What happens to you? And I know that you care For me too So I don't feel alone On the way to the stone Ooh. Now that I've found somewhere safe To bury my bones any fool knows a dog needs a home a shelter from pigs on the wing so it needs a dog house <laughs> sorry I had to now there was your catchy song though that just shot my damn shit out of the hill. And it last long, but that was it. That was Roger's regular old. We love it because we're used to it, but not so great voice. Um, that, that is, I hate the way I want to put it. That, that's a bad rep. I mean, his voice is not great. He just, it's not the same as it just was. So yeah. In the last song. Yeah. And the damn shit. Yeah, Roger's one of those guys that has all the passion in the world, but yeah, he's. Not technically a great singer, although, like I said, on this album, he's he's been really good. But like now, it's just either a, a whisper and occasionally a yelp. But uh, this right, is so. an obscure reference, but this really does. If anyone out there watching is familiar with uh, Roger Waters' solo work, his first album, The Pros and Cons of Hitchhiking, really does sound like that song right there. That I, I can sort of see a through line between those uh that album or at least that song and what eventually became pros and cons of hitchhike so it's it's nice that, to see those sort of recurring themes and an artist that, work that had a mother guitar tone in it and now that i've calmed down a little bit i, I can break down the song a little better um first of all props to roger on that bass line never faltered once and it was as continuous yep. as it could be and I never got tired of it. Not once did I get tired of it. And the guitar dropped a couple different times and ascended. And that bass line never, ever lost its tone or its rhythm. It's almost like he hit it one lick and put it on repeat. He may have. I don't know. But I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> it damn sure. Nah, man, he's done a great job. Uh, I had something else to say, but fucking butter um <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, I do agree that bass line was great it was like the pulse of the song and everything else seemed to be just sort of like working around it yeah yeah that bass line was the drums which mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're not familiar with music theory or fucking music man instrumentation the drummer is always who keeps you in the guitar gets love or the bass gets love or the vocalist. Damn, I just destroyed my whole fucking disc. 
the um <laughs> like dominoes, man. Um keeps the rhythm, the drummer. I mean, that's that's how you get back in rhythm is. But the bass is at that time. And if Roger played that the whole time, then first of all, damn, this would have to be tired, man, because the bass the strings are a lot thicker and harder to keep that. And that was a that was a thick, thick beat, so he wasn't strumming it loosely, <laughs> gently, <laughs> loosely. Uh, okay, so Pink Floyd made me look like a stupid reactor, more than usual. Uh, I was not expecting this on this song. David, he only lives my way. We would tell him. Yeah, they can like, some of my bitches. <laughs> Don't ever work. <laughs> ah. Go away. Oh, no. Don't feel your one. Sorry, guys. Son of a bitch. Well, also, a shout out to Richard Wright. I thought his uh, keyboard colorations in the song were amazing. I think he, uh, yes. So Gilmore's guitar work was, it, it was unique. It was very, uh, nah, not really. Word. It was great, but I don't think it was any yeah. different. Than yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's the one element that was yeah. actually less than usual, but it didn't change. Mm. I guess I'm which I appreciate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was I was still waiting for the big solo. I'm not gonna lie, and I, I thought as far as just sort of adding the sonic colors to the song, I thought Richard Wright was had definitely stepped up on this one. I mean, he's been great on the whole album, but it's, I thought it's the sounds that he picked and the melodies he was carrying, like in the beginning, it almost sounded like he was. Uh, what he was playing sounded almost like a lullaby. Then you had the bass come in, come in that had a funk to it. And then later on, you mentioned he was playing stuff that sounded almost like a haunted house. So I, I love his repertoire of sounds. It always keeps Floyd's music uh, gives it a it keep you know makes it even more interesting than it already is. I'll point out something, and to everyone, to everyone watching and OGO, we we go back and forth a lot on power vocals the whole time, or. Uh, slightly same with guitar riffs and I always tell him, you know, when you don't get it, it's more satisfied when you do. So I will point out the fact of what you just said. I was waiting on that big guitar. To so you didn't get it. Next time you hear it, it'll be even sweeter. That's all I want to say. It makes you appreciate the fact you didn't get there. And you, it also pointed out the fact that you talked about right more and, all the other instrumentation and not Gilmore this time. So I think that's a beautiful thing. I think that's very honorable of Gilmore. That's very true. Very true. Yeah, Gilmore's always been a team player. And I think he knows he, he doesn't have to, uh, he doesn't need a moment. Of, like, <laughs> he doesn't need to have the spotlight shown on him to be visible. You I know agree. I mean? so, yeah. And I agree that the solo would have been great, but. Yeah, I, I I I understand why it wasn't there, and I appreciate it. Mm. That's the biggest. Um, the drummer and the bass is always get left out. It's either the singer or the guitar player, the lead, who gets all the glory all the time. So it's like they step back and let the other two shine, which happened to be the. Vocals and the musician in, the, in this case. But don't get me wrong, Gilmore still played amazing. I mean, that mm, guitar mother sound and tune at the end and the accents and the subtleties he was doing without the big string bends and was talent in itself and a lot harder than people may think to yeah, make I'm that really acoustic like sound this. good. Yeah, I liked his explorative sounds on this album in general. I was just making it sound like a barking dog and a bunch of pigs fighting over food in a trough. It's very cool. Yeah, uh, this this end, David Gilmore is very good. I'm not sure if anyone out there is aware of that, but uh, yeah, yeah. kind of knows what he's doing. That's why, you know, I didn't miss it. Although I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I might love my woman, but if I'm here all the time, she goes, go ahead, <laughs> I'm not gonna be mad. Bobby had the one. Oh, yeah. 
it's yeah, it's a win-win situation. If it's not there, it's like okay, those make me appreciate appreciate it when it comes. But I don't think I've ever gonna. I'm never. I'm never gonna listen to an album from David Gilmore. It's like, I just wish he hadn't soloed as much. You know, it's like, <laughs> I'll listen to a whole album of Gilmore soloing. See. But again, he's not. He's, <laughs> he's not that kind of guitar player. So good for him. Well, I think he's forced to be because of fans like people that want to hear every song. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, I mean, because that's, you hear that as much as you hear Pink Floyd is atmospheric and psychedelic, you hear David Gilmore's guitar playing. Mm-hmm. Not that it's not deserved, just that it stands out. And sometimes that is considered overshadowing. And LeBron James, who cares what team he's on, they don't matter anymore because he's, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I don't even like basketball, but I, I don't know nothing about it. I hate them squeaking ass shoes. God almighty, it drives me. Where does them damn sheep? <laughs> no, I never even noticed that until you mentioned it. Then oh, you'll never forget it now. Like, yeah. There's yeah, a lot of squeaking there, yeah. So, so thank you very I'm much for to, bringing Trying to go to sleep with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Counting yeah, sheep, counting sheep, and listening to them yeah, squeak, there you go. squeaking sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I made so much them. noise during this. I screamed and hollered. And I, it's my reaction. I'm sorry. I don't have a damn mic. I mean, the mute. Ah, man. Sorry. I'll be better next time. Uh, I got pink floored. <laughs> <laughs> or stampeded by the animals. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Bit by the dog, pissed on by the sheep, man. The damn <laughs> uh what the hell the pig muddied me up. I don't know how long a pig does. Hell I don't know. It tailed me. Pig tail. I'm stupid. <sighs> Mental health is real. Roger Waters and me are great examples of that. <laughs> Drugs are not always bad. It's okay to do a few. Greg is an example of that. And, um, I don't know, man. Yeah, cokehead. <laughs> Got chair wine. This is only in North South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, but it's made right here in Smallsbury, North Carolina. That was flat as shit. That's the wrong one. <laughs> God, I'm my. Anyways. Uh, okay, flat joint sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're probably going to cut the last 10 minutes this out. <laughs> what the hell? I'll forget. For bit, <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you, I'll forget. I, yeah. I edited a lot when we were doing that. This uh, used to be a lot harder. Hmm. I distract the audios and put his audio with my audio, and there's a lag. So there's always an echo, echo, echo. It's like we live the Pink Boy all the damn time. Uh, I mean, there's a short version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're done, man. We're not saying anything. Yeah, I, was, I guess I was confused. I was like, you mentioned about that. That's my point. Are we done? I mean, is- I'm not the director, man. I'm just here. I'm stoned today, so I mean, you should have like took the wheel. Hello, Jesus. Real, obviously, thank you all so much. We hope you enjoyed this as much as I'm we did. I'm not mad at him. I love him. We love each other. I love We're that cool Thundercat like shirt, shirt too. Yeah, power to sword of omens, man. Thunder pussy. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm terrible. Thundercats, Thundercats, not among the animals. There's dogs. There's pigs. There's there pigs on no the pussy wing. That there's damn. sheep. No Thundercats though. The cows was an outsider. I mean, they weren't. Anyway, mentioned. guys, let us know what you think. The cow comments. comment was in context. Dang it. Cow text? What? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> trying, look, it's 56 minutes. I'm going to wait for 57. No, I'm, not, I'm just kidding. Love y'all. Love no, y'all. Love y'all. See you at the next one. Good part of start. And. Listen to animals because it's great. Underrated, very underrated. I am waiting now to 
Ah, ja, das ist ein Bumsy.